How's it going, guys? We have a past level question for hematology, step one, family, internal medicine to CK. Before we start, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Give it a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, and the man underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group channel down below. We'll start the clip. 15 year old girl comes to the physician, recurrent nosebleeds, heavy menses. Father also has history of nosebleeds. Laboratory studies show hemoglobin 12 grams per deciliter should be 12 to 17.5 in menstruating women, 13 to 17.5 in non menstruating women and men. Platelets normal, 400,000 should be 150 to 450,000. Bleeding time elevated eight minutes should be two to seven minutes per thrombin time normal 12 seconds should be 10 to 15 seconds per partial thromboplasm time normal 38 seconds should be 25 to 40 seconds question wants to know which of the following is most likely the explanation of these findings let's just work through the answers here should i say antibodies against click proteins 2b 3a wrong fucking answer it refers to the mechanism for itp idiopathic slash immune garmocytopenic purpura which is going to be three out of four questions where you have a school-aged kid who has nosebleeds Okay, that's it. And they need not tell you that there is a preceding viral infection, although that is classically the etiology. If they, if they tell you that the kid had sniffles for four days and then now has nosebleeds a week later, TKA a week later, that's very buzzy, ultra pass level for ITP. But as I just said, they need not tell you there's viral infection. One out of four questions will be a woman 30s to 40s who has random bruising. That's it. And they'll tell you that there's an increased bleeding time. Bleeding time is normal. That's domestic abuse instead. They like that distinction on family medicine. Now, in ITP, you're going to have an isolated increase in bleeding time with a normal PT-PTT because we only have a platelet problem. Okay, PT and uh, PTT both refer to clotting factors. Now you say, well, we have that pattern here. So how is ITP not right then? Well, platelets are fucking normal. Okay, so in ITP, you're going to have decreased platelets. And if they force you to choose uh, between low platelets and high bleeding time as which do we check for uh, diagnostic purposes first, the answer is decreased platelets. That's an answer on one of the two CK forms I've seen. And we're going to treat ITP with steroids followed by IVIG followed by splenectomy. If they tell you splenectomy was performed, platelet count goes back up. And then six months later, platelet count falls again. The answer is accessory spleen. Uh, some people have a second spleen the size of a pea that can grow in size if the main spleen is removed. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, deficiency of clotting factor, wrong fucking answer. We refer to hemophilia A and B, okay? And you instantaneously know it's wrong because it's a girl and hemophilias A and B are X-linked recessive, only going to be boys, okay? It's going to be classically a school-aged boy who has hemarthrosis bleeding into the knee, pediatrics. Uh, in addition, they can give you a neonate who has excessive bleeding with circumcision okay so a 12 year old boy hemarthrosis bleeding to the knee on the soccer field or they like giving you a neonate bleeding excessively in circumcision they can also tell you maternal uncle died after mild head trauma so deficiency of factors eight and nine respectively for hemophilia a and b can sometimes be due to antibodies for instance they tell you someone with hemophilia a has been receiving factor eight aliquots and the ptt still remains super elevated the answer is check antibodies against uh, factor eight. Okay, so you're going to have an isolated increase in PTT, normal bleeding time, normal PT. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, deficiency of bridging molecule, nebulous sounding answer choice, correct answer. Diagnosis von Willebrand disease. Von Willebrand factor is a molecule that bridges glycoprotein 1B on platelets to vascular endothelium mediates platelet adhesion, okay? So before I talk about ITP, like proteins 2B3 or platelet aggregation, platelets sticking to each other, but, but, but von Willebrand disease, like a protein 1B on platelets to vascular endothelium slash underlying collagen, that's platelet adhesion. And von Willebrand disease is autosomal dominant. So we have the father who has it here. And almost always, nine out of 10 questions, the way von Willebrand disease presents is going to be a combination of one platelet problem and one clotting factor problem. So platelet problems are nosebleeds, okay, epistaxis, ultra high yield, as well as mild cutaneous findings, petechiae, bruising. Whereas clotting factor problems tend to be heavy menses. They can say excessive bleeding with tooth extraction in the history. Hemarthrosis, I said for uh, hemophilia just a moment ago, but that tends to be, as per my observation, hemarthrosis, although clearly a clotting factor issue, tends to just show up for hemophilia. I've never seen it in a von Willebrand disease question. So as far as the labs are concerned, uh, clearly we have an increased bleeding time because we have impaired platelet adhesion. And then only in about half of questions, this is where some students probably are confused, okay? So only in about half of questions will PTT be elevated. 
Okay, not all questions. So clearly here we have a normal PTT. So some students erroneously think you have to have a dual increase in both bleeding time and PTT. It's fucking wrong, okay? And especially on some more challenging TCK questions, you'll see a normal PTT, and I've seen that throw some students off. It's because the, uh, the secondary slash ancillary role of von Willebrand factor is to stabilize factor eight in plasma. It's not a primary role. It's a mere secondary role. So bleeding time will always be elevated because that's its main role, but the secondary role, sometimes PTT is normal, okay? And PT will always be normal. So, and we're able to eliminate the others to get there. So platelets are clearly normal. So we know it's not ITP as we already talked about. So uh, von Willebrand disease, you can treat with DDAVP, uh, desmopressin, although not that detail in and of itself is not ultra high yield. Autosomal dominant, as I said, I want you to know that inheritance pattern in contrast to hemophilia A and B, uh, x linked recessive. Let's just whip to the other answer choices real quick. Uh, choice D, inability to cleave on Willebrand factor multimers, wrong fucking answer. So this is the mechanism for TTP, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. That's going to be a, a pentad, so you're going to have schistocytosis, thrombocytopenia, renal problem okay so renal insufficiency or hematuria that triad i just mentioned is shared with hus long fucking discussion but ttp you take that same triad and you just add fever and neurologic signs on top of it you get a pentad the mechanism is going to be antibodies usually against adam ts13 can be deficiency of adam ts13 but it's a matrix metalloproteinase that breaks down von willebrand factor multimers so if we have deficiency of that, we get clumps of these von Willebrand factor multimers. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, actually real quick, on one of the new NBMEs for TCK, you need to know that the treatment for TTP, TTP is plasmapheresis. As I already said, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, reduction of erythrocyte spectrum, wrong fucking answer, refers to hereditary serocytosis. So spectrin, ancrin, band proteins, and that's a cytoscolial defect, okay? So that's also autosomal dominant. They can tell you there's an increased MCHC. They can tell you there's an osmotic fertility test performed, shows lysis of RBCs, eosin 5 malamide can also be used for diagnosis. And patients often require splenectomy because spherocytes are cleared by the spleen and can result in pigment cholelithiasis. You can even see the combination of, of a cholecystectomy and splenectomy as a treatment on the US simile. But this is exceedingly high yield, okay? Hereditary serocytosis, I'd say this is quite possibly the highest yield heme disorder on US simile. Okay, so it's autosomal dominant heterozygosity in spectrin, ancrin, band proteins uh, for the gene. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal on the teammate more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.